It's a very wide field and we have had in the last couple of years for basal cell cancer the introduction of what's called the hedgehog inhibitors and with experience it's clear that we need something more. For squamous cell carcinoma the immune checkpoint inhibitor therapies with uh, sepulinumab and uh, pembrolizumab um, which are very commonly used in other malignancies are starting to become a little bit more commonly used in squamous cell carcinoma. Unfortunately they're not yet available on the PBS for treatment but I think everybody understands this is where the future of management of advanced skin cancer is going. The world of oncology has dramatically changed in the last 10 years with an understanding of how important modulating the immune system can be for managing patients with various malignancies and skin cancer is certainly one of them. The fact of the matter is that tumours which have a very large mutational burden, that is um, they have been caused by exposure to a carcinogen like ultraviolet radiation or cigarette smoke, it turns out that they are much more susceptible to management with immune checkpoint inhibitor therapy. So it's not just in the world of skin cancer but in many other conditions that local doctors and primary practitioners are going to be seeing and hearing much more about immune checkpoint inhibition.